looking so Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. You already know. Bringing to you some NBA 2K16 Pro-Am. I have a bunch of Pro-Am gameplay recorded and a bunch of things I need to talk about dealing with Pro-Am. And hold up. You're not going to step up. I'm going to knock down. Come on, man. You got to at least get a hand up. Do something. But a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions. The main one is, when can you play in an arena? And really, that's a good question, man. That's a really good question because I, I don't know. Every Pro-Am game we've been in, and we played about 15 or so Pro-Am games by now, Everyone has been in the Jordan Red Center, and I know this isn't really the Jordan Red Center, but I'm gonna call it the Jordan Red Center because that's what it is. We have not been able to play in our arena, and you can't play in your arena until more teams have been created around the world. And like I said, I don't understand that. I don't get it. I don't see why we have to wait on other people to create teams, but nobody has played in the arena yet unless you play my team. I know in my team, people can get in the arena, but for the Pro-Am, most people can't. The other question is how we've been playing so many games and I really thought the Pro-Am servers were stabilizing but I guess that's not the case because I know some people that's been trying every single day and they cannot get into a game. So in that case, I'm gonna just say we get lucky. We get lucky and that's how we play games. So anyways, jumping into this game, you see we getting off to a real nice start, man. Throwing it down court. I'm gonna get a nice little slam dunk and like I said before, when I have the opportunity to dunk on a break, I'm going to do it because my dunking is at a cool 38 right now. Like, I'm surprised my my career player can even grab the rim. And once again, Stout's throwing that lob up, and I'm laying it in all soft, man. But that's what I have to do. I'm an outside shooting guard. I can't throw down like I used to on 2K15, but it's cool, man. I'm all right with that. So you see, leak out game. We leaking, going down court, dunking it strong. That's the only time I could dunk the ball, man, on a fast break when nobody is in front of me or behind me. I gotta get that athlete look, man. I gotta get at least one poster, right? I know I'm an outside shooting guard, but somebody gotta get postered. So you see my opponent jumping at me. My man was asking for a piggyback ride. I said, no thank you, stepped in. Knocked down the mid-range jumper, which is really the money in Pro-Am. My boy Styles be killing the mid-range jumpers, and so I may have to start doing the same thing. Every once in a while, I can step out and just completely catch from three, but more often than not, I have games where I just cannot make a shot. And so that's when I got to start stepping in, knocking down a mid-range jumper. And you see me on the boards, and you know I'm telling my teammates, don't call for it like UJB taking it all the way coast to coast, Cali to Florida. You know when I get a rebound, I'm taking it all the way. So just hit the corners, hit the wings. Let me have that wing because I'm not passing the ball. So Styles pass it over. You see homie reaching. If you're reaching, I got to be teaching, going in for a slam. There we go. Getting the dunk at the end of the half. Damn, damn that boy good. So let's get back into the game, man. 24 first half points, and you already know what that means. That means I'm gonna have at least 40, like you gotta keep it balanced. If you have 20 in the first half, you gotta have 20 in the second half, right? That's the way I think about it. So I'm running down court, they picked up way too late, going all the way, finishing with the contact, he's grown. I really should've passed off to my boy Zilla, but it's too late, man. I have tunnel vision. Once I see that rim, I try to freak that rim. So we almost got a turnover right here. Luckily, my boy Styles grabbed the ball quick on his feet, and I just ran in down low, getting easy buckets. That's all I could do right now, kind of lock up and get, you know, easy buckets. You see me blocking the shot right there, and look at the clamps. Clamps. No, no, I know it hurts. I know you want to go that way. I know it hurts. It has to hurt. You see me leaking out down court once again, and you see me going in for a bit dunk. Did you see my arm on that dunk? I was looking like a 2K15 demigod. I swear to you, I'm not a demigod. I swear to you. I just made my wingspan a little bit too long, man. It doesn't even look right. But I mean, that's how I am in real life. I'm not 6'6", six, six, but I do have long arms. So I figured, why not give my, my player long arms too? So that was a nice dime by my boy Ostiles. He found me on the back door cut. I low-key tried to do it again, but I just didn't time it right. So Fox, while open for the three, he's not going to make it. But look at Zilla down there getting boards. We swinging it around. You ain't stepping up. Really, bro? I gave you a chance. You got to step up. Come on, son. I did that on the very first play of the game. If you don't step up and I'm having a good game, Steph Curry with the shot you already know. So here we go, man. After that three-pointer, the whole squad kind of hyped because we blowing this team out. And you see the whole team is locking up. It is contagious. They try to get a three right back. Nuh-uh, none of that, not on me. And we down court once again. That's how we like to play. 
force a bad shot, and when they shoot that bad shot, you gotta leak out, man. And look at Styles taking off, throwing down. This man is six feet tall, and he's throwing down better than my shooting guard. Come on, son. That's what we're doing. You can have that. You can have that. So anyways, they try to force it down low, and no, sir. We have Fox. We have Zilla down there. And once again, another leak out by your boy. That's all I can do, man. That's all I can really do. That's how I get my points just leaking out, especially if you're taking bad shots, forcing it into the paint. Why would I not leak out? So we're all about 20 points with a minute left in the game. I have 41 points, but you know, it's always time for more. You see me going behind the bat. Jamal Crawford layup package. Let me tell you about that package. I say this every year. That package is GOAT. You got to rock the Jamal Crawford package just to style and profile on him. But we're going to take a bit W right here at the Pro-Am. I dropped 43. My teammates made that 43 so easy. So like the video to show your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hot you all later. Peace.